Scottish mountains are still not being properly protected from damage caused by vehicle tracks. A three-year study by environmental groups suggests tracks are still being constructed without adequate scrutiny and that land managers are using loopholes to bypass the law. Our environment correspondent Kevin Keane reports. Their scars on the landscape often zigzagging their way up Scotland's mountains and there's long been a debate about whether hill tracks like these are a necessary or unnecessary evil. Conservationists say they're ugly, destroying our wild land and primarily there for the benefit of grouse shooting. But their biggest beef is that most of the time landowners don't even need permission to make these marks. If you build a ha an extension to your house, you, it's expected, everybody expects to go through the planning system. Yet these tracks, which um, have very, very little public oversight, nobody has an opportunity to comment on them, to object to them, to... to to make any representations and it's an anomaly of the planning system. They should be within the planning system and that's what we're calling for in this report. The rules changed four years ago meaning landowners had to give planning authorities prior notice before making these tracks but they're still classed as permitted development and don't need consent. The study has been looking at the impact since the change and gives examples like these where the tracks have still been unsightly or poorly constructed. Its conclusion is that the change hasn't been enough to protect our treasured landscape. This Green MSP says his amendment to the planning bill going through Parliament will remove the exemption. It will help in the National Park. The National Park, uh, the Cairngorms National Park in particular, has long had concerns about the proliferation of these tracks and they want to, to regulate them, control them. And I think in other parts of the country as well, it will stop some of the worst, most damaging tracks. We still will get one or two maybe built by farmers or indeed by foresters now and again, uh, but they're not the main source of the problem. Landowners insist the current rules are fine and that hill tracks are vital for their work. They believe the current system does provide adequate scrutiny and that further barriers to development could damage livelihoods. Kevin Keane reporting Scotland.